If you own a MacBook or any laptop really, and you feel the need to have extra ports, you probably questioned yourself if you need a hub or a dock. Both of these devices are really similar, but they do have a few differences that may affect your experience. So in today's video, I'm gonna share the main differences between them in order to help you with this decision. So we're going to start off by talking about portability. This is one of the main differences between them because usually for a hub, they are more portable. So if you want to take it to a coffee shop and work at a coffee shop, you can. If you're traveling and want to take your hub with you, you definitely can. It is lightweight. You can basically throw them in a bag and take it with you anywhere. A docking station, on the other hand, is definitely not as portable. They are usually heavier, they are larger, and you would probably want to set it on your desk and leave it there. A good thing about it is that you can have a really seamless desk setup just by using the docking station because they also have a lot more ports, which is the second difference that we're going to talk about. I'm going to start off with a hub. The hubs usually have less ports, and of course this varies on the model. But this one, for example, by Anchor, is called Power Expand 11-in-1 USB-C PD Hub, and it does have 11 ports. So as you can see here, it has two USB 2.0 and one USB 3.0 and one USB-C 3.0. Right here, the, there's an ethernet cable, which is extremely convenient. It has an audio jack. And on the other side, it has an HDMI port. It has a display port, so you can plug your MacBook or your laptop to a display. And it has a SD card slot and a micro SD card slot. Um, right here, this is a USB-C input, and you can use this port to plug the charging cable from your MacBook or laptop, and then you can charge your computer through this port. This is called pass-through charging, and it's convenient to have, however, you still need your power brick, you still need the charger, um, your MacBook's charger, plugged into the wall in order to make this work. Also, I briefly talked about the display port. So using this hub, you can connect your MacBook to one display, which um, I have the M1 MacBook Air, so natively I can only use one display, so I'm not missing out on anything, and I can use a 4K monitor at 60 hertz. However, some hubs allow you to plug your laptop to more than one display, so for example, two displays. However, this is limited to 30 hertz, so the hub is not as powerful as the dock as well. Now, talking about docking stations, they usually have more ports. This one is the TS3 Plus by Call Digit, and it has 15 ports. Also, they allow you to connect to more displays. They support higher resolution. So, for example, this one allows you to plug um, two different displays, two 4K displays at 60 Hertz, or a single 5K monitor at 60 Hertz. So it is a lot more powerful than a hub. Talking about the ports itself, as I've mentioned, it has 15 ports. So this is the front and it has an SD card reader. It has audio in and out, a USB-C 3.1 and yet an USB-A 3.1. And at the back, there are a lot of ports. The first one is the gigabit ethernet, which again is extremely important for me. Here it's the power, and power is something extremely important on docking stations as well, and I think it is a great benefit. Docking stations usually come with an included ACDC power adapter, so you plug them to the wall and you don't need to use your MacBook or laptop's charger. This is the equivalent or even more powerful than your laptop's charger. So the charging speed is faster. And as I mentioned, you don't need to use the charger off your computer. So pretty much what I do is I plug the call digit to the wall and then using only one cable, I plug it 
Um, I plug this one cable to my MacBook and it's the only thing that I have to do. My MacBook will be 100% charged all the time and if by any chance I want to use my MacBook somewhere else, there's only one cable that I have to unplug. Now, it also has a DisplayPort, digital optical audio, two Thunderbolt 3 ports, one USB-C port uh, 3.1, and four USB-A ports 3.1. So definitely a lot of ports. And as I mentioned, the only thing that I do is I plug the call digit to my MacBook Air using only one cable. So I plug the USB-C cable right here where it says computer. I plug this cable to my MacBook Air and that's it. I have a power machine available to me and the only thing I need is one cable and the dock. The next main difference is regarding the file transfer speeds. So a hub usually has a file transfer rate of 5 or 10 gigabits per second. The dock, on the other hand, usually goes up to 40 gigabits per second. So it is a lot more powerful, once again, than a hub. And last but not least, the final main difference is the price. Hubs are usually a lot cheaper than docking stations because as I mentioned, a docking station is a lot more powerful, so definitely more expensive. The hubs, they are not as powerful, but they are cheaper. So in conclusion, which one is better? So this is really hard to say, there's no right and wrong. It pretty much depends on what you need, right? So I would say that if you do not want to spend a lot of money, if you want a portable device, if you don't mind that this device is not going to charge your MacBook or your laptop, and you do not need um, a lot of extra ports, the hub may be the best choice for you. On the other hand, if you need a device to leave on your desk, if you need more ports, more capability, more power, you want to turn your MacBook or laptop into a powerhouse, you do not want to worry about charging and you don't mind spending more money, then the docking station may be the right choice for you. And once again, there's no right or wrong. It really depends on what you need and what you are looking for. But I hope I helped you guys in this decision. If you have any questions, feel free to leave me um, down below in the comments. And if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.